Hi guys, welcome back to Naughty Stylus and welcome to France. Today we're at the Cannes Yachting Festival and this is our very first yacht tour at this boat show. When we do meet so many of you in person, you do often ask us what is the business model behind Naughty Styles? How do we make money? So here I am to tell you we have never accepted a payment for any of our yacht tours and we do not work for hire. We do get asked all the time and we turn it down because we want to keep our independence and we want to keep bringing you guys boats that we find interesting. So every single tour on this channel, every boat has been chosen by us because we feel it would be interesting to show it to you. So we really do appreciate you guys watching those commercials because it keeps our channel going. That being said, today we're on board of a very interesting yacht. A long time ago, Rico and I actually saw haul number one model number one in the Caribbean and both went like head turned and said, what is that? So since then, this shipyard has grown so much and we're excited to finally bring you one of their cool models to the channel. So welcome aboard Arcadia 60 Sherpa. All right. Okay, we start as always, swim platform. We, start, we started on the transformer. Okay, fine. We started on the platform. I mean, that's such a cool feature to have. Honestly. I know, it's such a drool and it's really, really expensive. It's kind of keeps going on and off the NBBL. <laughs> it, it, it is. It's a, it's a big ticket item, so you guys. So it's your passerelle, it's your swim platform, it's your swim ladder. It's your potentially toy lift for a jet ski or small tender. Yes, I would love to have one. Let's put it this way. How about the swim platform in general? It's huge. I mean, Massive. I don't know how big it is, but it looks really big. Let's see, at least seven, maybe more. Yeah, you're cheating. It was like eight or so. Eight? Okay, it's eight. <laughs> eight feet. No, it's really big, you guys. What are these? There's only one on this side. So we got a storage compartment on the port side. Yeah, it's great for lines. Perfect space. Fantastic. So the, obviously this grid needs to be lifted up or removed in order to put the transformer back in there. Yeah, exactly. All right. What else do we have on a transom? We have receptacle for swim ladder, mm -hmm. actually, and we have it on both sides. Oh, that's cool. And then you have a transom shower right there and your the electrical shore water shore. input. Not yeah. Shore. Shop, shop power. power, shop power inputs. Maybe All we right. should have had a real coffee, not a decaf. Yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> starting to question this whole decaf decision. So underneath here, we have a receptacle for a quick connect transom shower. If you don't want to use just the little handheld one. So I'm pretty sure there's a carbon pole that goes in there. Right and here. Oh, it goes right in there. What a cool place for it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah and so this is it. Yeah. Yeah. But you can store the pole. Yeah, yeah. So is this the beam meaning that comes up over yeah. this in there, right? Mm -hmm. oh, that's really cool. So you can shade this whole space here. All right, let's keep coming forward. I mean, it's literally just layout Massive. beach club galore. It's amazing. <laughs> it's yeah. so much space. So you have a, a very large layout cushion, sun it's pad here huge. on the stern. Wow. And so underneath that is storage. Well, you guys saw the, the beam mini portion, but yeah, this is all storage yeah, you can right lift, here. You can lift the fiberglass part up. Okay, well, we don't need to lift everything up. No, no, it's fine. It's good. <laughs> so all of this is storage, and then let's start here, yeah? Okay, get okay. a little stern station for the IPS, the joystick for the IPS drive, mm -hmm. for docking. If you go stern in, I mean, look at the visibility here. Like I you, know, it's, it's pretty you can amazing. see everything. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so and then here we have all our garage hatch. So engine the room hatch, the gangway, and the transformer remote. I would say like, let's go forward, but there's a lot more it of is the forward. left it over. It is forward. You got like three, actually kind of four areas, right? You have more or less a beach club. Yeah. Right. Yeah, with the, definitely. With the transformer, which well, is layout, pretty cool. Yeah, you've got your layout. You get your layout pad, mm -hmm. your sun pad. You got a lounge area. Yes. And you have a transformable lounge slash dining area. Alfresco dining space. Yeah, so pretty awesome. So underneath all of these, we've got storage on both sides. So these tables are high low, 
Mm -hmm. And also they are... Um, yep, you got the, the mounting points here and you can actually slide it back and forth or angle it, whichever way you want to go. This is going on our NBBL, right? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, we love that. So we're definitely going to do something like that. And then as we come forward, there's still a little bit of storage here on each side. Yep. Both sides. And this table transforms into a very large dining table. Which like is really huge, cool. Huge, actually. So this area here, we've got a B-mini on top of that layout space. And mm -hmm. do we have an actual shade or no? I think the shade connects to the hot top. Yeah, so it's, this whole area could be shaded. I believe so. Awesome. All right, yeah. let's keep going forward. So right here, we have our basically outdoor entertainment galley. Everything on this yacht, you guys, is unique. This whole layout is just so unusual. So we'll start. Should we start here? Yep. Okay, what do we have? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, look, we've got a sink. Oh, cute. Just flip it all the way. All the way. Okay, and then, got it. Exactly. Ah, that's how you do it. Wait, what's this? So you've got a... Oh, so just basically for any appliances you want to put up here. So yeah, I guess if you want to put an outlet. electric grill there, you can put that. Got it. Storage here wine cooler, your drink fridge, and a bit more storage. So this would be our entrance for our optional crew area or storage. Yes. All right, shall we go forward? Did you have this? No, I didn't. I missed it. Good catch. Yeah, tons of space more here. More storage. And here as well? Yep. Oh yeah, that's great. So you got your little outdoor galley here. Yeah, your entertainment bar, exactly. All right, let's go forward. All right. This is going to be unique, you guys, come. First of all, look at this rail going all the way around. Look at this box, you guys. Very comfortable, feels really safe. Really it's a good, safe. It's a good width of the sidewalks, right? Yeah. And then the railing, like you just mentioned, it feels really, really safe and really comfortable. It's pretty amazing. Let's so go forward. Check out this bow. There are not too many yachts, you guys, that have this feature. I mean, you are so far forward. Well, you are all the way forward. You are there we all go. the way. Look at this. There's our anchor. Pretty great actually to be able to see it. Don't drop the camera. I know, right? <laughs> this is pretty unique. Really cool. So there's a bow sitting area here and I don't think there's... Oh yeah, something. Oh yeah, no, that's a headroom. That's our headroom. That's from the forward bathroom. Yes, exactly. So we have drop down cleats here. I mean, you don't really trip over them once they lower down. Really nice. So wait, are they drop down or they pop up? Pop up. Just pop curious. Up, drop, uh, drop down pop up. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at the storage. That is a good size storage and anchor locker access. It'd be almost hard to get out. It's so deep. It's really good. Like for fenders, for, you know, any kind of boat wash utensils. You can't really tell how deep that is, you guys, but I feel like I could stand up there. Oh yeah, you could. So let's open the center part here. That's go ahead. where the access to the windlass is. Mm -hmm. There we go. So got a windlass access right here and the safety chain for the anchor and another storage equal size to the one on the starboard. It's huge. Amazing. And is it? Oh, I know what this is. Yeah. So we have already seen these on the swim platform, right? Yes. And I thought like, oh, maybe it's a receptacle for like a shade on the stern. Uh, here it doesn't make any sense. So there's a switch here. If you press the foot button, the, uh, the foot knob, yeah, the remote. Okay. Yeah, press it. Ah, that's brilliant. All right. There is your cap stand or your winch to pull the lines in. Oh, that's brilliant. I love it. And then now I'm going to go the other way. There's this little switch here. Go the other way and press it again and it disappears. Oh, that's sexy. Out of the way, no trip hazard, especially since there's a little limited space here on the foredeck. This makes 100% sense. That's absolutely brilliant. So let's just make sure we close this again. Yep. Perfect. All right, let's go check out the race pilot house. So here you can actually see the enormous amount of solar panels. So we still have some on the hot top too, right? Correct, yeah. yeah. But what drew us to this boat, you guys, I don't know how many years ago, that was a, that was a long time ago, in the Caribbean. In the Caribbean, I think it was that same model which is behind us right now. Yeah, and exactly. And we, we noticed immediately- It was the, the 85. The immense amount of solar. At uh, that time, the, it was not top. that common to see no. so, so much solar. I mean, actually it was 
not in general, not even common to see a solar on top. So we were like, both of us were like, what is this boat? And we like ran over there and met the owner, talked to the crew and we were just super impressed by it. So yeah. it's, uh, it's great to know that this shipyard keeps growing and doing so well. Agreed. Okay, we get it. Okay, we keep going. <laughs> All right, let's go up around and what's here? Oh, is that emergency just, access for? It's just ex another access to the crew quarters slash storage area. Got it. All right, let's go up into our race pile house. Oh, wow, that's nice in here. Really nice. Right? So I don't know if you guys can notice that immediately, but these, that gap all around, do you see the gap? Oh, wow, they're all dropping down. Yeah, so they actually lower and they can come all the way up to create a fully enclosed space. But how amazing is this? They actually come down a bit more and this creates pretty much an Kind of an open flybridge. You know, it's pretty warm right now, but uh, where I'm standing, I get the breeze through the door here. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's almost like air conditioner is on. It's really, really nice. Yeah. I mean, you kind of get the best of both worlds because you'll have just enough wind protection when it's like halfway down. Yeah. But you still get that breeze that you want. So yeah. it's you a have open flybridge feel. Very cool. All right, right. So let's start back here. All right. Let's and kind of work our way forward. Yeah. So this is um, another galley space that we have. That would be actually your main galley space. Yeah, so your storage here, your what double sink. What do we got there? Dual sink. Top loading fridge. Yeah. Uh huh. Top loader. So this would be our TV lift. Oh! No way. We did do it. Check it out. A small Bosch dishwasher. Oh, I, love I like it. this dishwasher. Oh, it's great size. Do you remember when we were looking for the new dishwasher? And I couldn't get those Bosch ones in the US for some reason. Yeah. I think they only make them for Europe. Ooh, okay. Oh, here is our four burner cooktop. Yeah. Also Bosch. And little prep area. Yeah. Well, this is great. Another drink, I mean, another fridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other one's a top loader. Yeah, exactly. And a bit more storage here. So when these this windows are halfway down, I mean, you literally have like an outdoor kitchen. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, an I like outdoor it. outdoor galley. So then here we have a sitting area. Definitely good enough for six. Very large What's transformable table. Yes. Storage. Storage there. Same and, here. Oh, yeah. And storage here. And yeah, this table also becomes a nice, sizable dining table. Pretty cool. All right, and then if we go all the way forward, we end up at the helm. So immediately, when you look at the helm, you're kind of wondering like, oh wait, wait a minute, is that a sailboat? No, that is a signature to Arcadia Yachts. They're using a carbon fiber large helm wheel, which I really like, I, I gotta say. Like, I mean, if you sit here at the helm, right? There you go, it's a pretty cool spot. You're not gonna end up having a wheel, huh? No, on the next boat. Do you uh, get think, a wheel? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you get we that. Get, we got that the small wheel. That little, get, like, a, what's it called? Like a spaceship wheel. Yeah, bumper car. <laughs> bumper car wheel. But the cool thing is, like, I have socks on, so don't judge me. You can actually steer even, you know, with your foot. A little bit, a little bit. I don't know if that's meant to be like this, but it's definitely very convenient. Well, that's what all people on sailboats do. Yeah, yeah. So let's walk through the helm. So immediately here to my left side, we have the thruster control right there. We have the IPS joystick control and shift and throttle control of the Volvo Pentas. Then looking at the cockpit straight in the center, we have the Garmin chart plotter, then the Seakeeper remote right here, um, our navigation light and alarm indicator, LEDs right here, as well as window remotes, windshield wiper remote, and the other window remotes as well. So you can see like everything is labeled, which window is what, so for fairly easy to use. Then we have our windless control here, mooring lights, electronics, all the switches here for the navigation. So here on the starboard side, we have the high voltage selector switches as well as our battery switches right here. Another schematic of the LED indicators for any potential fire alarms. Below that, we have again, a high voltage switch panel and a low voltage switch panel. Then all the way to the starboard, we have the VHF radio and the fusion stereo. Well, are you chilling there? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? All right. Uh, can we cool. check out the interior? Sure. Let's okay, go check let's out the interior. I mean, you can see from here one more time the solar panels. Oh, you see, that's what I wanted to check too. Oh, like, that's what you wanted when, to check. So when you're on the interior here, if you can lower the windows down, 
even docking. Oh, that's nice, yeah. I know, oh. it's the AC is just <laughs> blasting in the right places, that's for sure. When you're docking, you don't want to use the aft station. Yeah. You're comfortable, you know the boat, you're familiar with the boat. Actually, lowering the windows down, you have a pretty decent visibility. I don't see the dock necessarily next to me. If you know that mentions a boat, 60 feet. I'm at the helm, and if you wouldn't block the way, I would actually be able to see all the way back to the swim platform from right here. That's pretty cool. Okay, should we check out the interior? Sure, let's go. All right. All right, let's check out the interior. Okay, we're gonna go just straight forward first, which is on our starboard. We have a double cabin here. Wow, it is uh, nice and tall here. I like the integrated lights in the ceiling. It definitely has very Italian styling. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really nice. It feels very airy. Um, there's also windows right here that you guys can see at the moment. And then right here, we have our hanging locker. Used for life jackets right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> and the AC is underneath. And then do we have any, st yeah, I think we have storage here, no? It's drawer. Oh, yeah. interesting looking. Yeah, drawer on each side. Yeah, it's kind of a nice shape. And then a bit of an exposed storage here, sort of nice to put your phone, iPad, you know, stuff that you're using all the time. Yeah, super nice. And then... What do you think of these lights? Oh yeah, they're cool. They're kind of cool, right? I didn't right? even notice them. They seem really nice. And then when we walked in and I went all the way forward, if we just back up, there's a day head, which is also serves as a head for that guest cabin. Does it have a shower? It does have a shower. Yeah. Forcing me into the shower again. This boat smells so good. Yeah. You have this thing for like hotel smell, right? This boat has its own cologne. It smells so good, you guys. You literally feel like so you're what's a, a what's on the side? Hotel. What's on the side there? Is it like so a seat? Well, yeah, there is a bench here and there's a little bit of storage with the ledge. Actually, quite a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, just for your shampoos and conditioners and stuff. Yeah. Got a head here and then obviously a sink. And this must be stored. Oh, oh. What's behind? This is, no. No, this just goes through. This is just a design feature. Yeah, so you have a mirror because of the windows. Interesting, so you get all the max light. That's how they did it. So yeah. you still have a mirror, but the lighting, you get the max out of it. So our storage would be down here underneath the sink. How about the valves for the hot and cold water? Are these? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of kind of cool. All right, so why don't we go check out the master? We are so far forward, yeah. actually. Yes. It's very unusual. We are like technically at the bow, pretty yeah. much. We're underneath the pilot house, yes. which we were just there, right? But it, I mean, it, you're really far forward. So your views are pretty interesting. Like you're not used to having the master in this location. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, first of all, this is a pocket door where you yes. are going through. And then um, queen size? It's a yacht bed, so it flares out. On the top, it's probably 180. The bottom is a little narrower. Yeah, it's great size. You have storage in your, oh, actually, drawer here. Two drawers in your nightstands. And then, on either side, right? Yeah, on either side. And is this also a design feature? Interesting. So this is storage. Yep. It's definitely unique how they kind of hit that indirect lighting behind. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we go into our head. No. What? Oh, oh yeah, there must be a closet somewhere. Hold on, I think it's gonna be one of these. Find me, oh, it's big. Oh, it's really nice. And look, it even has oh, little shelving. shelves here and a safe already built in. All right, coming all the way forward into our head, which is pretty unusual. I can think of some other models that have this kind of a layout, but it's quite rare. And so we have our toilet here. Wow, that's like a good size, regular size toilet. Yeah, you know. like almost domestic, or mm -hmm. pretty oh, much is. domestic, domestic sized toilet yeah, with the, the bidet. Uh, bidet option. Is this storage too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Check that out, but not this, right? Yeah. Whoa. All of it. I kind of feel like you need a little tour if you're staying or chartering on this boat because it's a bit hidden, right? It's like not, mm -hmm. not really, there's, now that I'm getting it, I'm like, okay, is this storage? Yes. Wow, it's actually really, really good size. Nice. Okay. One of the sides. Oh, yes. Wow. Pretty impressed. I'm just going to say that that's all the size, but it's not. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a really good amount of storage. All right, and then our shower is a good size one person shower. Don't you say? Yeah, I, I agree. Say? Let's go check out the crew cabin and, and the, the engine room. Engine compartment. And the garage. 
and the garage. Okay. All right, so our crew entrance is right here. This doesn't have a cool quarters, it's an optional cool quarters of space. This actually has extra refrigeration, so let oh, me show okay. it to you. Yeah, sounds good. And storage, actually quite large. So we got a big breaker panel down here for the 24 and the high voltage breakers. Then actually a lot of refrigeration. So we got two isotherm refrigerators down here, extra refrigeration space. I think that's probably the best option to have. Got the air conditioned chiller over there and the sea strainer and the salt water pump right there. So pretty easy access and loads of storage capacity down here as well. Really cool. I would take the extra fridges. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. I mean, 60 footer, you're definitely uh, pretty good on operator side. All right, we're going to check out the garage first. Okay. Wow, this wow. is insane. There is a lot of space here. So now that answers your question, how do you get the tender out of here? Because there is an crane. Expendable crane, which has a joint, so you can actually go out and open it up and put it over the side. That is incredible. That is, much space is so much space. Yeah. So how much of a tender can you put in here? I want to say at least a 12 footer, 13 footer. Do you think it can only be jet or could you actually put you an can, outboard? Yeah, you can get an outboard in here, like no problem. It's pretty amazing. I mean, it would be kind of cool to see you there for perspective, but I don't know if you feel like it. There you go. Well, this, it now is, you actually get to feel is, how big it, it, it is. And it, and it goes up higher too. So for the actual operation, when you would drop the tender and you would open the garage door up a little There's higher. There's so much space. Look how it's much stuff they have here. It's and great. then you still have an access here into the storage room, which we just filmed a moment ago. Yeah, and look at how many toys you can fit in here. A lot. Pretty amazing. What's all that over there? You want to grab? Well, all what where? You don't see it? All your valves. These are your electric water pumps, which you can use for suction out the bilge water. And you have the big manifold right underneath there. So you can select from where you want to suck the water or if you want to use it the opposite way and uh, use it for firefighting, you can do that too. And then right there on the forward wall, we have the water maker. There are the membranes right here. We've got the water maker pretty nice, easily accessible to service, change your filters, for example. Again, like here, the access to the storage room we just saw from the other side. And then here's the hydraulic pack for the garage door. Get some more breakers over here for the 24 volt system. Yeah, pretty uh, cool. All just regular breakers and then we get the master volt battery charger. All right, All right close that up. I'll close that. All right. Wow, that's access. <laughs> that's actually really good access. So do you think the easiest way you just get on the on top of the generator and just that's how you get down? Yeah. Yeah, right? you just jump on and go on the side of the sound shield. I mean, that's really, really good open. So then as you can see, like all the way aft, we have the sea keeper in the center of the boat. You get the two IPS drives, you know, right next to it. And then the Volvo D8 APS 800s, two of them, of course and then the generator is smack in the middle. But looking at it, you still have a pretty decent access for your engine service on either side of the Volvo Pentos. So perfectly fine. Sea strainer, you have a good access. Got the fuel filters, the ray cores right here. And that's our gyro? And that's the Sea Keeper, yeah. Nice, okay. And so in the newer models, they're actually going with fins now. What is Can it? Sea fire, that? yep. Yep. Fire suppression system, yeah. And it looks see like that. you also have some valves there. No? Well here it's just the hydraulic pack for the garage door. This comes in actually really handy just thinking of you know you just moved anchorages or something you want to check something in your engine room like any conventional engine room you go in you just pretty much die in there because you got the engine giving up all the temp the, the, the heat from running. This one you just open the whole hatch and immediately all the heat is gone so if you want to do anything or you have to do anything like this is pretty convenient. Alrighty, you guys, this concludes our tour of this Arcadia 60 Sherpa. I hope you enjoyed it. Put it in the comments and let us know what you thought of it. If you guys are interested in checking out some more behind the scenes of us building our new yacht, definitely check us out on the Patreon because we're putting out a lot of extra content right there.
right there. Yeah, and sure. thank you so much for all the likes and comments and your triple comments. Really, really appreciate it. And yeah. cue Rico Rocks. And as always, enjoy our outtakes. And if you guys are looking for some cool sunglasses, we have our own little aviator floating sunglasses, which are, I think, it, are they already at the shop, on the shop? I think they're on the shop. So you should definitely check them out. I love these if glasses. If they are on the shop, I will put the link in the description underneath the video. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Cool intro? Cool, yeah, do like a cool Did we intro. make a cool intro? Yeah. Okay, can you <laughs> use a little bit like energy? Like, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> He's literally yawning. Yeah? Or at least so. you said toy lift, not a toilet. That's what I not thought. Not Okay, toy good. Lift. All right. You screwed it up. And I now shouldn't have opened it. Yeah, you screwed it up. See, we're already making a mess. We haven't even moved off the platform. Is that a T? Hey! Come on! <laughs> So when you know your coffee addict when without caffeine you're cranky. I'm not cranky. I yeah. mean if you really, really, really like yourself, maybe two people can If you really like yourself? Um, each other, not yourself. <laughs> if you really like yourself, you're pretty good by yourself in the shower. Yeah, you're, you're perfectly by yourself. <laughs> if you like each other, you can maybe shower two people. But Guys, um, I promise I will try to keep this channel as PG as we can, even though it's very difficult with this guy behind the camera. Well, I think it's a one and a half person shower. Alrighty then.